Thank you for watching, and today we'll be talking about Ethereum's proof of stake and its implementation of Casper. Casper will be a smart contract on the Ethereum network that will implement and monitor proof of stake, which is a form of consensus algorithm that builds consensus on the blockchain from owners that stake their coins. But why the change? Right now, Ethereum is using proof of work, which is a consensus algorithm that has miners compete for the right to add to the blockchain because only the one that solves the computational puzzle first gets the right to add to the blockchain and the rewarded ether with it. This causes an arms race for computing, which drives up the need of electricity and server farms dedicated to mining. The average daily use of electricity for Ethereum right now can power almost a half a million US homes. And the ever looming threat of a 51% attack makes some programmers worry of a malicious group controlling and gaming the blockchain. So in 2014, Vitalik and Vlad began working on proof of stake, and we shall see the first of proof of stake with Casper, a smart contract that allows users with about 1000 ether or in a to be developed validator pool to transfer their stake to Casper. And these users will then become validators that will have two functions, prepare and commit. These votes are weighed by the amount of ether staked and all validators can only vote once per position on the blockchain. Casper will implement two rounds of voting and also Casper will take reports of cheating and slash aka penalize bad validators. These two rounds of validator voting is what builds consensus on the blockchain. For an overview of how validators build consensus and the blockchain, let's look at two ideal validations of these three pending blocks. Beginning with prepare, a to-be-determined proposal method will select a pending block or choose a validator to select a pending block to be prepared. Once that block receives two-thirds of staked ether, it is now a prepared block. That prepared block will then be voted on in the commit round, where two-thirds of staked ether will then finalize the block to the blockchain. The process then repeats again with a to-be-determined proposal method prioritizing a blocker validator, and a two-thirds vote of staked ether will then prepare the proposed block. The prepared block will then enter the commit stage, where a two-thirds vote of staked ether will finalize the prepared block to the blockchain. This two-stage consensus building process will continue on any new pending blocks on the Ethereum network. Thank you for watching. Next time we'll be going into Ethereum's proof of stake a little bit more with why validators will follow these slashing condition rules. So if you liked the video and found it informative, please like it. And if you want to learn more, please subscribe.